It's time now for the latest in local sports and sports at Senior Night at J.C. Stadium tonight. The final regular season game for our Wayne County Yellow Jacket football team. They host Southeast Bullock tonight at 7.30. We begin this afternoon with the Wayne County Coaches Show at 6.30. Here's a portion of the show in which Coach J. Bo Shaw says he likes where his team is at, but he says he wants to continue to work on that balanced attack before the playoffs begin. We're going to do what it takes to win, but what, in my mind, that's what, you know, when you got to win playoff games, and we had a couple of anomalies last year, um, where we where, where we weren't weren't really that balanced, but I think especially when it comes late in the year, like a game like this, when you, when opposite teams have so much film built up, um, you know, with seven, eight games or nine games of looking at, you've definitely got to be balanced and you've got to do some different things. Um, so, you know, we've certainly continued to progress. That's what's encouraging for me. You, you've constantly, at least for us and the staff, we have constantly seen each week, you know, this thing get better and better and better from receiver play to quarterback play to protection to, you know, s certain things in the RPO game. You know, we continue to get better. And I think just being balanced, being a balanced football team, you know, gives you a shot, gives you, a, you know, a chance to win, you know, there at the end uh, when you need to and uh, keep teams off balance, especially when you have a back like, like Matthew and, and Ja and, uh, and, and some of the other backs that we've got. So we'll continue to keep pressing and keep getting better, uh, but I certainly believe that we got to continue to be balanced the best that we can. And once again, you can hear all Coach Shaw's comments tonight on the Wayne County Coach Show at 6.30, our pregame from the Stadium at 7, kickoff tonight at 7.30, again, senior night at J.C. Stadium. Two Region games played last night in our region. New Hampstead defeated Burke last night in Pooler 34-28, while BC rolled over Islands 57-0. With New Hampstead's big win at home, the number two spot is a three-way tie, and it goes to point differential between the three teams. If I've got this correct, it appears that New Hampstead will win the number two seed in our region, will play the first round of the playoffs at home, along with the number one seed, BC. Wayne County will fall in at number three, and with the loss last night, Burke goes from the two seed to the four seed, it will be on the road as well. Again, we'll get all that clarified tonight with Coach J. Bo Shaw, but that's what it looks like. The region standings will be BC 1, New Hampstead 2, Wayne 3, and Burke 4. Other high school games this evening, Appling hosts Brantley, Bacon hosts Irwin, Bradwell hosts Greenbrier, Brunswick at Effingham, Camden at Lyons, Coffee at Ware, Glenn hosts Lakeside Evans, Long County hosts Johnson, Pierce hosts Tattnall, Richmond Hill is at Colquitt. Wayne County girls softball team in Columbus today. Again, they've got a... Doubleheader day if they win the first game. Lost yesterday to North Oconee in five innings by a score of 12-0 to zero and pushed the Lady Jacks to the loser's bracket. Again, they have to win a doubleheader day and three games on Saturday to win the state title. Lady Jacks play Sonoraville today at 1 p.m. With the win, they would play the winner of the Whitewater second year game. That would be at 5 p.m. today. The winner's bracket game today at 5 p.m. is North Oconee against Heritage Catusa. Winner of that 5 p.m. game, one went away from the state championship on Saturday at 1 p.m. Six teams left. Perry High School, West Lawrence eliminated last night. With the win today at 1, the Jackets make the final four. The win at 5 p.m., they move into the final three. But again, they must win a doubleheader day and a tripleheader Saturday in order to win the state championship. Saturday's first game at 11. They would play then at 1 and have to win at 1 and 3 to win the state title. We'll update their progress tonight during the high school football game. Congrats to the Wayne County cross country team. They were in the region competition this weekend, Evans County. Wayne County girls took second, boys took third. Girls had four finish in the top ten. Ashley and Pittman finished in second place overall. Anaya Wallace, Caitlin Cancino, and Kelsey Hughes all four set personal records on a difficult course. Boys also had a strong performance with Colton Reck finishing first for the Yellow Jackets and placing eighth overall. Tristan Yarbrough and Colton Reck both set personal best. Reck, Yarbrough, as well as Jet Towns and Samuel Steele ran sub-20 times at the tough event. And the Jackets now travel to Carrollton next week to compete at the state event. College football, a big win in front of a great crowd last night in Statesboro as the Eagles were over Georgia State. Final score, Georgia Southern 44, Georgia State 27. This Saturday's the annual clash down in Jacksonville with the Dogs and Gators at 3.30, kickoff on CBS. Dogs a two-touchdown favorite. The first game for the Dogs without their star tight end Brock Bowers should be an interesting game Saturday in Jacksonville. Other games of interest, FSU and Wake Forest, Texas A&M hosts South Carolina, Kentucky battles Tennessee. Notre Dame has a date with Pitt. Auburn against Mississippi State. Ohio State plays Wisconsin. Oregon against Utah. Clemson, NC State, Ole Miss, and Vandy. And UCLA plays Colorado. 
NFL football this Sunday. Falcons at Tennessee. It's a 1 p.m. kickoff on him on here on FM 105.5. Jacksonville Jaguars travel to take on the Pittsburgh Steelers. That game also a 1 p.m. kickoff. That game on AM 1370. World Series set to begin this weekend between the Texas Rangers and the Arizona Diamondbacks. Game one Saturday night in Texas in Nate U Soccer. The championship was decided last night in the Rec League. Again, the champions are Gundas. They defeated Ward by a score of 2 to 0. Ward finishes runner up. And that's going to do it for the latest in local sports.